Okay, we've got to do 54.6 times 4.3. So this is a non-calculator paper, so we have to do it the hard way. Which means, first thing, ignore the decimal points and just do long multiplication, okay? Like you're back in primary school. So, 5, 4, 6, like I say, ignore the decimal point until the end, times 43. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Draw a line there, multiplication sign. Keep it all neat, very important. So, first thing, 3 times 6 is 18. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13. 3 times 5 is 15, plus 1 is 16. Okay, good. Get rid of these little numbers. Cross off the 3, put a naught down. Right, 4 times 6 is 24. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 2 is 18. 4 times 5 is 20, plus 1 is 21. Get rid of these little numbers. And now we're ready to add these together. So, 8 plus 0 is 8. 3 plus 4 is 7. 6 plus 8 is 14. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, and that just leaves 2. Okay, good. So we've got 2, 3, 4, 7, 8. All right, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8. Now we're ready to look at the decimal points. If we look at the original numbers, you can see that the decimal point on this one is one place in, okay? And the same on this one, it's one place in, for a total of two places, which means in our answer, we bring the decimal point in two places. One, two, boom, to there. And that's the answer, 234.78. Always do a quick check, see if it's sensible, okay? 54.6 is close-ish to 50, okay? 4.3 is close-ish to 4. 50 times 4 is 200. And we've reduced both of those numbers in that estimation, so we're looking for a number a bit bigger than 200. And yes, 234 is a bit bigger than 200. In other words, we're looking for a number, as we say, of the order of magnitude of 200. And 234.78 is. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please click the like button and it would be a massive help if you could subscribe. It would also be amazing if you could support me on Patreon. All the papers and everything are on my website, drgem.com, and I'm also on social media. Thank you.